we are back! Here is Pao Bango again and with me is Shasha! So, we have an announcement! One, two, two three! We, we are, are married! married. We are so excited to share that also with you. Okay? That's that's the what, that's one reason uh, that uh, we it took a long time before we have come up and uh, with another video. Yeah. So thank you very much for those who have uh, greeted us and have uh, been with us, and for those uh, who have prayed for us. So thank you very much. And right now we are here again, and we have an exciting perfume for you. Shasha, are you afraid or are you scared of spiders? Small spiders, no, but big, the big one like tarantula, mm. it's a yes. Yeah, most people are afraid of tarantula. Yeah. But, did you know that there is a perfume that is not yet that well known that is named after tarantula? It's quite exciting. So, let's get it on with Pau Bango. All right. So, we're here and we're going to share to you a very uh, amazing perfume. Mm -hmm. You know, and this is from our friend and we would like to say hi Muna or with with Nixon. Yes. Hello Nixon. Hi Nixon. Yeah, and uh, this is from NXN perfume and uh, the last time we reviewed an NXN perfume was uh, with smooth wood. Do you remember that? Smooth wood, yeah. So that's the first uh, NXN perfume that we did. So I said, let's try another one. Uh, oh, let's get on with the review of this perfume. All right. So the name of the perfume, and this is my gift to Shasha. Yeah. This is Tipsy Tarantula. Tarantula. Yeah. From NXN. So I bought this from PFD. Thank you, PFD. You are always there when I want to look for perfume that is hard, very hard to find. You're always there too. Thank you, PFD. And again, this is NXN's uh, Tipsy Tarantula. This is quite amazing because when you think of Tarantula, like what Chasha said, it's quite scary. It's a big spider but you know what we're going to review when it comes to the perfume how does it work so let me ask Muna Sasha Sasha you have worn this several times what was your first ex impression and experience with this first impression um, I'm aware there is vanilla in there, mm -hmm. plus there's somehow similarity with the uh, Victoria's Secret perfume uh -huh. vanilla. So every time I spray it, I'm familiar with the smell and I knew there's something more with this perfume. Wow, alright. And let me just show you, this is the box. And uh, very well uh, presented by Nixon. So you just have to slide it here. You know, there's a, a, a holder, holder here so you can slide the, the box. And here it goes. The, all right, <laughs> the main perfume. Okay, here it goes, Tipsy Tarantula. This is a very, very good presentation when it comes to the bottle, when it comes to the boxes. But of course, the most important thing is the smell and what Shasha said there's a bit of vanilla mm -hmm. yeah and uh, it's kind of sweet something mm, like yes. that so I'm gonna try it also because mostly Shasha yeah it was it's Sasha who who uses Always this one things. yeah and when I smell it to her, in her I, I, I like it I love it I love the smell of this one it's kind of unique you know it's not something that uh, is super, super common, but there is a perfume that you remember. Yeah, Victoria's Secret. Victoria's Secret, yeah. But when you know, you know, it's it's not it's very seldom uh, used, and uh, 
somehow there's a uniqueness in this perfume you know the first time this is a blind buy for me and yeah, it's quite you know risky because it's a it's a gift and you know it's a blind gift <laughs> blind, <laughs> blind buy gift for Shasha and I was hoping that this would really uh, smell good something that she would like and um, it's it's good it's it's really nice and I think it lasts quite a long time uh, mm -hmm. and it's it's relaxing it's sweet and this is what I get from it right now you know the opening is really really good so let's try to check out the, the notes of this perfume by the way this is an eau de perfume mm -hmm. so this, this is really good concentration so let's see. So Sasha, what are the top notes for this one? Top notes are nashi pear, apple, almond blossom, cinnamon, and saffron. Wow, that's the opening, and the opening gives you more fruits yes. and flowers. Yes. Is it fruity and, the... and floral. Yeah, and the nashi pear, we check it out. It is a peras. Peras in Tagalog. In Tagalog. Yeah. Here, in our country it's peras yes yeah and we did not know that this could be a part of a perfume yeah, yeah. we're not aware of it actually yeah it's it's really surprising it's the first time that we saw the name of nashi, nashi pear in as a perfume a yeah yes. as a top note so this is really a uh, uh, floral and uh, fruity uh, perfume and mm -hmm. it smells really good yes. uh, the vibe is really nice you know and also for the heart note of this one I'll, I'll uh, read them the, the heart notes uh, amaretto coconut hedion hopefully I uh, pronounce it right nutmeg mm -hmm. and raisins mm -hmm. wow this is really a full pack of notes and with this there, there's there's uh, a lot of uh, when you see coconut or 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 uh, raisins. Th these are these are kind of perfume that you use you mostly for the beach type yes. or uh, something that is more on for chill, something like the coconutty mm -hmm. vibe. So these are the heart notes of this. Uh, also still with florals and different types of fruits and. Uh, really really good in the middle note that will uh, um, give you that still a very sweet and cool vibe yeah yes yeah. so sasha what's the base note for this one base notes are tonka amber vanilla leather and moss wow that's a huge use of notes so you will see tonka bean and an amber and then vanilla then there's leather in it so vanilla it makes it sweeter Sweet. yeah the leather makes it more a little bit uh, muscular it, it gives it more strong yes. yeah and then musk, musk. no uh, the the mix of all this perfume gives you uh, somehow you know you, you remember a certain note from other perfumes but you just can't really compare it to them except what Shasha said because of the vanilla you know the, the yes. vanilla is almost uh, the same yeah so it gives you that uh, uh, very sweet vibe yeah. yeah so uh tarantula tipsy tarantula do you think this can be used uh, in in when go, when 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 uh, you go to office. Yes, actually, um, I believe vanilla or tipsy tarantula can be used in all occasions and in all seasons that we have, especially here in the Philippines, since it is tropical. Right now, uh, it's a rainy season here, but I can still smell the vanilla here, the sweetness of it. Plus, um, it can be wear by all ages, meaning from youth 
from teenager, from early 20s, 30s, 40s, up until senior, yes, you can wear it. And there's no age bracket or no age limit for this perfume. Anyone could wear it. I think even men can wear it or you can use it as a layering in your perfume, meaning you can uh, use this on your first layer or he here on your clothes then after that for the second layer another perfume for your hair so that's uh, the type of layering that you can do here for vanilla or tipsy tarantula perfume yeah and that is a good thing to know uh, because it means that this is a very versatile perfume yes and as a versatile perfume um you can you, you don't have to worry and you don't have to think of offending other people and for me uh so far it's not something that really is very hard to your nose or something that is offensive uh type of perfume it's really nice uh, the vibe for this one for me and for mm -hmm. sasha it's really really good and we yes. recommend this for those who would like to try perfumes who are not yet well known in the market there is an NXN perfume and if you would like to have uh, a piece of this perfume you can buy it at PFD and we're going to uh, put uh, their, their store their link so that you can uh, try this and believe me you will love this one yeah. so if I will rate it from 1 to 10 for me it's a 9 yeah. It's, a, it's a nine. It's a really, really good perfume. How about you, Shasha? Yeah, uh, it's a nine as well for me. Uh, by the way, the vanilla that I'm referring to in Victoria's Secret is a body mist, which only lasts only, I think, 30 to 1 hour, lasts long. Um, while for this one, this can be less at 8 hours or more than. It depends on your spray, on how many times you use it or spray for it. But... Yeah, this can really be uh, recommendable for vanilla essence or vanilla perfume, by the way. Yeah. It's yeah. perfect. So if you're looking for a niche perfume, and I would like to say yeah. that it is a niche it's perfume, a one. and it's a very unique one, even the name is quite exotic. So yeah. we recommend this, and please do try this. And check out NXN in his YouTube channel. You will see all of his products they are really really good and we recommend and we hope that there will be more more people who will check this out because aside from this there's a lot of different perfumes in the line which i'm going to put here so that you will see all the lines of, of the, those perfume and i'm hoping to get more of this from nxn because it's really good and the plus the you know it, it's not something that you can buy just anywhere yeah. So this is really really good. So again, tipsy tarantula. Yeah. You can use this anytime, anywhere, whatever age, any gender. Yes. Tipsy tarantula. Thank you, Nixon, for creating such a wonderful, wonderful fragrance. Thank you and see you soon for our next Pau Bamon.